Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here. It is Amanda Christina and I'm here with a birthday challenge. My birthday is the 16th of October and I have not had a challenge on my channel at all before uh, for my crafty people and so that's what this is going to be. Uh, if you need my address please email me uh, amandachristinapsychic at gmail.com Amanda Christina Psychic at gmail.com. Um, the Amanda Christina Psychic is all run on together. Uh, I'm not just going to give my address out to anybody, so uh, I am going to make sure I know who you are. So please leave your YouTube channel name in the uh, when you message me, just because I have a wide variety of people who watch my channel and yeah, I just don't want to be giving my address out to say creepy strangers. <laughs> um, but I trust the ladies in the cra and gents in the crafting community. Anyway, so what is this challenge going to entail? I would, I'm very into miniature things and small things. So I don't mind if you do something as a miniature size or a regular size. I know people from overseas, I understand postage is expensive, so I don't mind if what you send me can fit into a regular type envelope or a small envelope. That does not bother me at all. Um, as you can see, uh, there are examples of my mini bag flips, although they won't, they're a little too tall, but they're easy enough to put less in. Like if I took out some of the stuff, they would be. I um, think this is just here because I just used that in a tutorial in in a video, and I just thought that was super cute for background. So, what can you do? You could do a pocket letter, or a mini pocket letter, such as this one, which is using the um, two inch, like it's the twenties sort of divider from the We Are Memory Keepers four by four album, the Instax album. I really love these. I love the little mini pocket. I, I, I love that sort of style. Um, you could just do the three one. You could do a proper size pocket letter. You could do a loaded bag, a loaded envelope or a loaded pocket, whatever you wish to call it. You could do a flip book, which is what this is, <laughs> which like, yeah, <laughs> um, you could do a flip book. Um, and you can do an IC card. Now I would ideally like maybe a four by six IC card um, with your name, birthday, you know, address is kind of vital. It just helps me be able to send happy mail every so often when I have a few extra dollars and I'd like to send something out. Um, maybe likes and dislikes as a crafter, what hobbies and interests, things that, things that you're interested in. Now here's the twist <laughs> because this would not be my birthday challenge if it was just a random set of things. So I'm going to give you a list of, of themes that you can use for any of these items. You could do Disney such as and that includes Star Wars, um, Marvel, <laughs> Muppets, Fraggle Rock, although Fraggle Rock I don't think is owned by Disney, but it is part of the Henson Company. Labyrinth, um, Dark Crystal, Mirror Mask, any of those sorts of things. Um, classic Disney movies, I absolutely love Tangled. Um, Aladdin, Aladdin is one of my all-time favourite Disney movies. Um, Tinkerbell. You could do a princess themed one with some of the Disney princesses. You could do um, classic Disney, um, Mickey or Oswald, like anything within that. Um, but I can tell you now, I'm not super into up. I'm not, I, I don't mind some pics. Like, yeah, there are things that I'm not super into. Like, I don't really want Bambi or, yeah, but, but, you know, if that happens, that happens. But yeah, so there's some of my things there. Doctor Who. <laughs> Um, I like Star Trek. I absolutely love Studio Ghibli. So Kiki's Delivery Service or Howl's Moving Castle, um, Ponyo, any of those kind of themes. Um, 
I'm trying to think. <laughs> My brain just went blank then. I had a whole list of really good ones. Um, classic Looney Tunes. Halloween, because I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff. So Halloween would be really cool. Um, so you can do any of those. You can also, if you like, and if you're a card maker, you could also make a birthday card. But I'm not going to make these all be like five points each because it just makes sense to me just to have it as a single point per thing. So if you send a pocket letter, you get a point. If you send a loaded bag, you get a point. If you send a flip book, you get a point. If you send an IC card, you get a point. If you send a birthday card, you get a point. I'm not going to do um, VRs because I just, being me with my mental health and my physical health and stuff, I will not be able to track VRs. I will forget and then it will just lead to a lot of confusion. It's going to be open until the last entry is received on the 31st of October. Now, and I will draw it early November. Now, here's the thing. If you want to do a project share or something to show that something is on its way, I will certainly take that into consideration, especially if I know you a little bit as a crafter or if I know you from YouTube and stuff. Um, just in case, because post can be slow, I'm giving you two and a half months, pretty much. Um, this is new to me. I'm kind of excited. I think this will be fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you create. I don't expect huge giant parcels. I, I genuinely don't. I don't expect to be spoiled rotten. I just... I really wanted to do this for fun. I get really inspired by other people and I honestly just thought it would be really nice to have some happy mail coming in and also the prizes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't show you the prizes because I don't have my sets yet. However, I have discovered the most gorgeous fun sets of... Um, they sort of look like lawn fawn or my favorite things um unicorn and mermaid stamps and die sets that coordinate so you would so i'm going to have three prizes of those and there will be some added goodies so there might be some extra dies some extra stamps some stuff from my stash there'll be one of my loaded um my bigger but small loaded pockets will be in them um and probably some other bits depending on what i find and create between now and then um there will certainly be a nice little assortment of goodies for, for yeah, but the, the main prize for me within that is there's going to be three of them. There's not going to be a first, second and third. Everyone is equal as far as I'm concerned and it will just be a random drawing. I'm just going to put all your names in a hat. Like I'm just, for each item you send, I'm just going to put, write you a strip of paper and we're just going to create a container and it'll just be a random drawing of three people. And yeah, um, I'm really, really excited. I hope you will join me on this challenge. Um, I wanted to make it so that you could choose what you wanted to do. Um, as I said, if people want to do everything, if people just want to do one thing, if people want to do a couple of things, I just, I'm a person who likes to have options because sometimes I might be in the mood to create pocket letters and sometimes I might be in the mood to create flip books or, you know, I might be in the mood to card make. So I like to give people the option of having a variety of things they can do. I hope you found lots of things that you can look to. I mean, I might have only mentioned a couple of the Studio Ghibli things like, um I know there's so many more they're the ones that come to mind first um totally totally love Casper um so I've given you lots of just variety of things Star Wars because I've got Star Wars projects I'm trying to do and I need Star Wars stuff um Harry Potter oh my god that was the other one I was trying to think of okay so let's go through the list of the you can do these things and why are you okay so Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, because that should have been on the top of the list as well, along with Doctor Who and Disney. Um, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, which I don't think I said, but like Star Wars, like that kind of stuff. Um, Studio Ghibli, uh, Looney Tunes, Henson, like Muppets, Fraggle Rock, Labyrinth, Dark Crystal, Mirror Mask. Um... Muppets is a huge thing for me. Fraggles is a huge thing for me. Um, so yeah, anything that I've mentioned within this lot or the first lot in this video, feel free. Um, there's lots of variety. Oh, and Halloween, of course, because it will be Spooktober. This is going to be so fun because for me, I am doing Spooktober, which is every day during October, there will be something on my channel to do with Halloween. And I will do another video on that. Anyway, I will talk to you all soon. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Let me know below if you're interested. 
email me. I will put my email in the description box for anyone who needs my address and I will talk to you all soon. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.